There are a number of questions that you should ask your surgeon before you go ahead with surgery. It's important that your condition and the treatment options have been adequately explained to you. The surgery itself should also be explained, including basic technical aspects, potential benefits, and the risks as well. It's good to have an idea of what will happen on the actual day of surgery. When will you go up to theatre? When will the frame be put on? Where will the CT scan be done? All of those sorts of things. It helps to reduce any confusion or anxiety on the day of your operation. It's very important that you find out about the potential benefits and risks of surgery. Any operation carries risks and you need to know what these risks are. It's also important that the potential benefits as they relate to your specific condition are explained. Once you have that information, you can then make an informed decision about whether or not to proceed. It's important that you ask your surgeon how many of these procedures they have performed themselves. Some surgeons will have gone overseas and may have done a lot of cases under supervision, but it's important to find out how many cases they've actually done independently since they've been back. With this type of surgery, there is a learning curve and experience does count. Find out how many years your neurosurgeon has had performing this type of surgery. Find out how many cases they've done. Have they just been doing this for a year or two or have they been doing this for five or ten years with a wealth of experience? Ask your surgeon about their results, how often they get infections, how often they have to revise the electrodes. These sorts of things will give you a fairly good idea about the type of expertise that they have. Ask your surgeon about their training, whether they're involved in research and teaching. Surgeons who are involved with these sorts of things generally have a high level of interest in the field and generally keep a bit more up to date. Ideally you want a surgeon who has done hundreds of these operations, who works in a team environment and who's happy to spend time talking to you about your condition and what the treatment options are. It's important that you find out which hospital your surgery will be carried out at, how long you'll be in hospital for and what the costs will be. Make sure they've been trained and are experienced in microelectrode recording. Find out how many cases of microelectrode recording they've done. Have they done just a handful of cases and are learning as they go? Or have they gone away and got some experience with someone who's done many more cases? Ask your neurologist about how many patients they've programmed postoperatively, not just during their training, but after they've completed their training. Postoperative programming is incredibly important in order to maximise the advantage that you get out of your surgical procedure. Post-operative programming can be tricky and requires both knowledge and experience. It can make a world of difference to your final outcome. Ask your neurologist about the team that they work with. Do they work alone or do they work with others? Ask them who will look after you if something happens and you require further programming when they're away on leave. All of these questions are important. For more information about deep brain stimulation, visit www.deepbrainstimulation.com.au or phone 1300 773 247.